my research question was, in what ways can social media and video games be a good or bad influence on children? My context for this was, um, first off, before in the past, books were also thought to, when they first came out, to be a negative influence in corrupting our minds. As in today, social technologies are also looked upon that. And so it's the same thing happening again as it was before. And most parents today believe that social technologies are bad already for their children just because the, the bad um, news surfaces first before the good news just because it gets more views and that's what the news publishes. And then also technology is advancing and supposedly becoming more addictive because everyone's using it nowadays as you can see and it's just new features that everyone likes to see. So my claim is that social technologies are a good influence on children with the educational and social benefits it brings. My stimulus sources that I use were Source G and Source A. Source G by McGonagall, and she believes that the video games are our future and can bring solutions that I'll describe later in my counter argument. And Source A is Kessler, where he brings in um, how it helps you meet new people and connect you to different groups. The educational benefit is that there's a big learning curve with children, as it was shown. With children, it shows that they play video games. It helps stimulate their brain to allow problem-solving skills and other skills they may have lost in the past to start happening, which allows them to learn better in an environment. And also, with 3D games, just like any 3D game, such as from Candy Crush all the way to Fortnite, it allows their brain um, to stimulate and memorize like what they're doing better, which also improves their learning curve ability and helps them do better in school. And then that was found by, by the University of Vanderbilt. And then also, there's a possible future job or future with video games as jobs, because a student enrolled at Sinclair and got in the UAS program, and this was because it helped. Video games have been shown to give you better focus when doing things just sitting there, and with in the UAS pro program, you need to be focused on what you're doing because you're a pilot, trained to be a pilot, and you need to focus in on what you're doing and have no distractions around you. This chart right here shows that even even jobs instead of just being like a pilot, just being a video game. Uh, programmer can lead you from $40,000 at the lowest but all the way up to $215,000 being a well-sustaining job. Um, some of the social life benefits are that military families. When you're a kid with a military family, you're mostly going to be moving around a lot from school to school to stay with your family. And it's, sometimes it's also hard to keep in touch with those families if they're on, out on duty. And that can help make you feel isolated because you're moving school to school and not having the family members or the friends that you need because you lose them all the time. Well, with social technology, such as social, social media, you can stay um, connected with those old friends or even with your family members, which will get rid of that feeling of isolation or even gets rid of um, depression from developing or anxiety. And then also, it helps, um, helps with challenging experiences. Kids and even teens go through challenging experiences in which they can reach out for help or even just look up how to get through them sometimes and talk to people. Uh, there's things like the suicidal hotline and there's even texting, texting services to help get through these times, which would be very great for like to have with them with social technologies which would greatly impact them and then also as Kessler said in his source he said you social, social technologies helps you reach out to new people and new groups and this would help you like find people with the same interest and same things that you want to do because in day-to-day -day life you don't meet everyone like that but online you can do a quick search and find a group just like that and find the people you want to be with and on on this graph right here it shows that 78% of people say that they feel more connected with their friends while playing video games than before. And I have, um, for counter-arguments, it shows that social technology are hurting our world more than helping it. They think that so social technology is becoming addictive and people are just not like, doing what they need to be doing. They're just focused on that mainly. But realistically, as I said before, this improves our ed education. It improves our learning curve and leads us to better strides and helps us like, invite new things and make our world a better place. And also that leads into the real world solutions. Because if we can make the world a better place and invent new things and improve it in general, we can create new solutions, as McGonagall said. She says that we can put um, real life problems in a video game format and have the gamers who want that epic win type of feeling to find a solution so they can help find, save the world but get the satisfaction of still winning the game. And then some people also say that social technologies are taking away, or taking us away from our social lives. And they say this because, um, because you're sitting there in front of a screen all day. You're not doing anything. You're not interacting with nobody. You're just sitting there playing a game. 
But this isn't true because as I showed from the graph before, with video games, people felt more connected with their friends when playing with them online. So you're still having that interaction with people talking to them, um, teamwork, building skills, and everything's still being built. And also, as um, Kessler said, and also other sources, you can reach out to people. You can go and talk to other people. You can find the people you want to talk with, the groups that you want to be involved with more, which leads to better stimuluses. All right. All right actually improves your social life because you're reaching out to people that you want to be with and who you want to talk with. A solution I have would be ban all useful social technologies and keep only ones that should not help children. But this wouldn't be a possible solution because the limitations would be no one would ever do this. Governments would lose tax money because these games are so popular, such as like Call of Duty franchises make so much money, tax money, governments love it. And also companies would go out of business from this. They couldn't make a game and not everyone's interested in those games. So they would lose so much money and companies would never go for it, no government, it would never be possible. But some solutions that would be possible would be that parents limit the type of social technology that they're on. They could set the restrictions or even go on private mode. And this would allow um, parents to set um, the social technologies on what their children, what they want their children to focus on. They don't have to have them playing all this at some time, all this. Like on iPhone, for example, you can set restrictions on how much they can play this app, but like have no restriction on another app that helps improve their education and learning curve or even memory. So you can set restrictions. And then um, some lim limitations to this would you would be talking to strangers online. But you could stop this by putting it on private mode. So no strangers unless you know them actually you could add them and actually have them talk to you only if you know them. And even parents can add another um, level of security where it emails them when you do something too. So and then also with it stops social interaction that could which is a limitation, as I said before, with the video games. It's also not true because um, you're, you're playing with your friends online, you're always having that communication, you're always reaching out to people, so realistically, you're never not having social interaction. You're always there talking to someone. And there's my work side. Okay, a couple of questions for you. Uh, the first one is, what information did you need that you weren't able to find or locate, and how did you go about trying to find that information? I couldn't find a lot of information on what the parents really wanted because every like there was a lot of information on it, but not in the databases. So when I looked it up on Google or something, try to find a reliable source, most of the times it was really biased with no evidence backing it up. It was just a personal opinion, which I felt like wouldn't be credible enough for my paper. So to replace that, I went more with... Um, more like ethical solutions or things like that with like military families or other like social life benefits it could bring instead of just honing and straight on what the parents think which would put it in a bigger broader perspective good um and then your other question is what might be the real world implication or consequences of your findings and then what are the implications to our community i feel like the real world, uh, real world implications would be that they would um greatly impact or greatly improve this because, I mean, our whole society could improve in their education, but like really change the world like McDonald's said. And also some, but some consequences would be that they could become even more addictive. It could be like really like terrible for their minds and it could just hone in on people just sitting around all day just playing those video games. But around our community, with um, how popular things are becoming, I feel like, especially like the schools start implementing them or like even just parents start like voting on, in on them more, we could like help just bring like the education or like the fun back in learning that a lot of kids don't find anymore in school because they're too honed in on just regular technology but if like it has learning aspects in it it could greatly improve it like McGonagall said we can make video uh, video games uh, like a real world problem put into like a video game to help them like, be more interactive with it.